currently live in? Oh, in the Benin Republic. The name of the radio station you work at. I forgot the name. Sorry. Golf. Go, Golf FM Africa, your magic radio, 105.7. When you were growing up as a young person, did you initially, like what you're doing now, is that what you dreamt of? Or did you on the long, um, halfway decide, okay, were you always planning or dreaming to be a TV presenter, a French, um, and all that? A present, a TV person. No, I think as a child, I was a confused child, you know, <laughs> and um, I think initially I loved acting. Oh my God, I can't remember the last time I acted, that's so sad. I wanted to be an actress. My dad was like, they don't pay actresses well. They gave me one flimsy excuse. I said, okay, I'll, I, would. I, I shelved that dream. Then I wanted to be a lawyer. Then my younger brother said, I don't know how to argue. And then I said, okay. And then I shelved that dream. Mm -hmm. Then I think that's why it's very important to um, the people you communicate with, the elderly people you communicate with, they play a major role in your life. So you need to watch the kind of people you listen to. I remember when I was in SS, SSU, almost done with high school. And I was speaking to my cousin and they were just having a conversation, an elderly cousin of mine. And then he just said, why not study international studies and diplomacy? And it was like, he just streamlined the opportunities that you could be this, you could be that, you could be this, you could be that. But my mom had been like, I should study mass communication. So in my mind, I'm like, mass communication, international studies, mass communication. So in my university from what I was feeling, I put my first choice, international studies and diplomacy. Why? Because my cousin said I should study that mm -hmm. and I would be this, I would be that, I'll be this. Then my mom's choice, which was mass communication, I put it in second, I put it as my second choice. Then I got admission to study international studies and diplomacy. And my mom was like, oh no, that um, I need to study mass communication because she feels I'll be better in mass communication. And I was like, okay, in 200 level, I would cross over to mass communication. But unfortunately, I never crossed over to mass communication. I studied in international studies and diplomacy. But when I went for service, um, service is like a one-year volunteering thing you do in Nigeria. Then I realized that, oh yeah, I have this gift in me. And then that was how I started. And I'm like, oh yeah. So since then, that's what I've been doing. And I regret not studying mass communication in the beginning. So, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I want to add to that because um, what I think I want, I, I want to treat as a question or like, I, I would like you to respond to it because one of the problem is that as young people, we were then we were not really exposed to um, practicing what we had passion for. We were not really like you said. Your dad said, ah, "Who's going to pay you as an act actress or artist or whatever?" But look at how much actors are any right now, especially here in America, actors and you know and all that. Mm -hmm. I remember personally, I had that experience too. <laughs> when I told my dad as I, I was going to, I wanted to do um, movies. I wanted to go into the movie industry. Say, yeah, who is that? You, you know. So then, those those things were not like developed by then, and people didn't look at it, and people were thinking it's it's not it's not a serious course. I remember also in my university, then they used to look at people that study theater as as people that got the lowest in jam, <laughs> the lowest in um, this, and then they just threw them there. But look at now. So what I'm yeah. trying to say, what I'm trying to say is find your passion. Find what you are talented with your skill. I'll follow it up. And follow it up. Do not listen to nurses. Do not let anybody no. um, discourage you. Because the little thing you might think is nothing, even you might think, oh, this course is nothing. Tomorrow, that course can be the groundbreaking, you know, profession. And be, but again, just because you are good in it, that's what the world is looking at. How good are you in that particular area? Even if it is just um, chef, being a chef, you've seen chefs that are cooking, but everybody can cook. 
That's what you will say. Everybody can cook, but there are some chefs that are paid more than some doctors. Why? They're cooking for professional people. They're cooking a particular professional dishes and all that and all that. So do not limit anything that you have a passion or a skill for. And not because personally, my own um, experience was, oh, medical doctor, oh, accountancy, oh, these, you know, those big, big professions were what was reigning then. And for you to be a popular student or a to be known as a star student, you have to, you know, be <laughs> studying that particular course. But no, that's it. I want to encourage each and, every, each and every one of you listening to me to do not allow anybody to meet your thoughts. The truth is, when they say, if you can think it, you can be it, it's not a joke. Mm -hmm. The only thing that limits each and every one of us is your thoughts. Mm. I don't know the international organization you have seen out there. I don't know the person you're looking up to and then you're telling yourself one day you're going to be better than that person. It's not just a thought. You can actually be it and it can actually happen. Like I remember when I came to this country, I was a, as a language student. The organization I'm working with has been in existence for like 30, 30 years or so. Like in the States, when you call the place, everybody knows the place because the man has worked with a lot of presidents and everything. And I told myself I was going to work in this place. And when I came here, everybody looked at me and they were like, this man is no longer taking interns. I said I wanted to be an intern. Intern is, they are not going to pay me. I'm rendering my services free of charge. They're just looking at me that this guy is a joker. This man is not taking an intern. And long story short, Four months down the line, I kept on coming here over and over again. Until one day, the CEO saw me and was just like, allow this girl, please give her what she wants. She wants to do something, let her do it. And when I got into the organization and I wasn't doing what I loved, I was in the TV section, editing news. I kind of lost, my passion is the radio. And one random day, the CEO looked at me and asked me, how are you doing? I said, Sam, I'm not fine. He looked at me. He said, why? I said, Sam, I'm not happy doing what I'm doing. I want to be in the radio. And then he looked at me and said, okay, no problem. And that was how I started with you. So to some people, they say, oh my God, you're lucky. No, I did not settle for less. So if you can think it and you can work hard towards it and you can put your heart and your mind stayed on God, believe me, it is a faith accomplished. No motivational speech. This is just true life principles playing out. Wow, wow, that's true. That's so true because you don't even look at the money. Some of us are also very money driven all the time. It's not that you you don't have you're not you don't have plans to make money, but you might have a plan for that money you want to make, but you have to start from somewhere. She started even without being paid, and they saw the sacrifice. So for you to get to a level you want to get to, you have to make some sacrifices. That's why you see some people now, oh, Bill Gates, oh, George Bezos, oh, Elon Musk. If you hear the sacrifices they've made to get to that level, you will like, who? I was reading about Elon Musk and I had so much money he lost. He lost this million, he lost that million. But today, what is he now? So it's all about sacrifices, guys. We have to make sacrifices lose some sleep if you want to learn a language give yourself a deadline give yourself a goal and say between now and and this day and this like before the end of this year tell yourself i'm going to learn this language and then you have to sacrifice maybe playing some games the time you used to play some games the time you used to watch some movies the time you used to play just make those sacrifices and put in that um, effort. Let me share the story of how I met her, okay? I met her in church far back when I was in Nigeria and she was, there was, you know, there's something you will see in somebody that will attract someone to you. She had that glory. Let me use that word, glory. Because as a Christian, all of us are supposed to what? Have the glory of God in us. And when I met her, I was like, no, this lady, in fact, I keep telling her, she, she keeps appreciating me, oh, this, that, that, but she didn't see what I saw because I saw it and I was like, this lady is going to go far. And I saw those skills 
they were the kind of skills I had. It was like a younger sister to me. She was like, I don't know, this is just a mini version of me. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm going to, you know, get her to me. I'm going to get closer to her. And we got to work together. There's so many things we did together that each sharpen each of us in whatever we wanted to achieve. She wanted to achieve hers and I wanted to achieve mine. And we worked together and God made it possible. So I want us to know that she's a child of God, born again Christian. And wherever she is right now is because she had her foundation or she has her foundation. In God. Oh, I, don't understand, I don't understand these assignments. Oh man, me I finished my own the coconut head. So that's all mommy used to call you. Now I'm going to sit to that and watch Ben Ted. Uh-huh, my princess. I don't understand this myself. Is that why you refuse to greet your mother? You've not even greeted me, mommy. Good afternoon. You don't anyway. How will you ever understand your assignment? Princess, have you finished your assignment? Yes, yeah, look at I did too. You see? Olodo, coconut head. You never understand anything they teach you in class. I just come back now, you're disturbing me, you're stressing me. Mommy, I don't understand, I don't understand. How will you understand? Princess, they rehold this thing for me. I bought something for you, my princess. Praise that is Yes, I bought this for you. Thank you, mommy. Yes, darling, I love you, baby. And then you. Coconut head. So it's not be like I didn't give you anything. Take. Oh, mama, mama, mama. Shut up. You're older than her. Uh -huh. When you start coming first like her, uh, I'll start giving you more biscuits. But now, what's your position? 23rd. Last. Carry your book inside and let Princess teach you the assignments. She's old, you're older than her. She, you're, you're in primary 4. She's in primary 3. Yet at the end of the day, you don't even know anything. Rubbish. In conclusion, it is this scripture I love so much is goes like this. It is God that walketh in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure. <laughs> the truth is this life is all about God. It's not a function of you working so hard because there are people that work harder than you, but it's God that just takes your efforts and magnifies your efforts and then it's like you're just shining. Do you understand? It's yeah. God that just puts a microscope on your little efforts and then at the end of the day, you're just shining. So basically, make the right relationships. I call her my big sister because she was the one that gave me various platforms that um, I was able to discover myself. So keep the right set of friends. Don't be around people that will look down on you. Don't be around people that will belittle your dream. Be around people that will motivate you and bring out the best in you. Be around people that you guys can hold your hands together, pray together. When you are with the person can strengthen you. You know, and hold on to God. Because the Bible says he's the one that give it, gives us wisdom for wit invention. You'll just be sleeping and then Voila, you just get a unique inspiration and then you practice what you got and then that's just the beginning of your success. So hold your work with the Holy Spirit very precious. He's your best and your closest friend. Listen to his advice. Don't joke with his advice. Watch the kind of people you have around you. And then of course, have elderly believers that have gone before you. People that have, that can, you know, people that can advise you correctly because a Nigerian Igbo adage says, what an elder sees when he's sitting down. Even a youngster, when the youngster climbs the Yoruba tree, the youngster will never see. A short, a short speech, then I'll conclude in English in prayer. Okay. Let me say, let me direct the speech to you. I will say the speech in English and then I'll say it in prayer. Okay, I want to appreciate my big sis. Je veux apprécier ma grand soeur. For this opportunity, for set opportunity, to talk to each of you, who parle avec chacun, I am very glad. Ça me fait plaisir, and um, I am really, really, very, very happy. Je suis tellement contente. 
Big sis, thank you so much. Merci, merci, merci beaucoup. Merci and, beaucoup. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, yes, yeah, so basically, you. I, merci, I merci, really, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. At least I blend that one. I'm saying it every day. Merci beaucoup. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Oui, ta grandma is there. Je m'appelle Beta. Je m'appelle Beta. Ah, je m'appelle Mademoiselle Hazel. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much. We really Thank appreciate you. you for coming. It We're was a pleasure. It was we'll, a pleasure. We'll, We'll Thank call you, so you back much. one more time. So just be expecting us any day, any time, but we really appreciate and we really learned a I'm lot. I'm available. Yeah, any and I've also, I, and I've also learned. Thank I've you learned so a lot. Much. Yeah. So we're gonna I've end. also learned. I've also learned from the youngsters too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um who's gonna pray for us to end? Um Kosi. Can you yeah. pray? Is grandma dressed up? Does she want to pray for us? Grandma, is, grandma has a body. I can pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we glorify your name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another new day, an opportunity to learn. We thank you for our guests who has enlightened us. Father, may you continue to bless her in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the name of Amen. Jesus, I commit all the children into your care. Grant us the grace to bring them up in the nature and fear of God so that they will be ambassadors of Christ in future in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless whatever they Amen. lay their hands to do. Give them the wisdom to understand what they are, we are teaching them. At the end, they will give glory and honor to you. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you very much. Thank you, so, Grandma. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> all right guys that's all we have for today au revoir au revoir, au revoir. <laughs>